These are the top five best features in Android Q. Android Q is out in beta right now, and everyone is digging through it to find out what's different and new. So far, there aren't any major visual differences, but there are some really cool features that should make Q very interesting. Let's get to it. At number five, faster sharing. If you're on Android, sharing something quickly is not exactly easy. You press the share button, and then you wait a little. Then you have approximately 142 options to choose from. Then quick share options show up to mess where you were going to press. That's supposed to all change with Android Q. The share sheet shows up ready to go. What an idea. Coming in at number four, support for AV1. Okay, so what does that mean? AV1 is an open source video codec. Google says that it allows media providers to stream high quality video content to Android devices using less bandwidth. So that should be good for general video streaming, but maybe it'll play a role in Google's Stadia game streaming platform. When Google showed off Stadia, it showed off a streaming game played on a pixel. Maybe Q will be able to display great looking Stadia games, even if the network is not doing so great. And number three is better privacy controls. Android Q handles location data a bit differently. Before Q, you either would allow location data for an app all the time or not at all. With Q, location data can be used when the app is being actively used. Then there are notification adjustments that will stop apps from launching an activity while in the background. However, there will be an option for high priority notifications to take up the full screen to get your attention. This is meant for things like calls and alarms. Number two, Q is opening up the camera. We could see some really cool apps thanks to Q. Google says starting with the newest version of Android, apps can request new data that will allow for portrait mode effects, creating 3D images, or even working in augmented reality scenarios. I'm really looking forward to what developers come up with. And the best Android Q feature is support for foldable phones. Whether or not you think foldables are a gimmick, they're coming. You know what would make them an unmitigated failure? apps that don't work right on them. Here's Android Q to the rescue. Developers will have tools in Android Q to make sure their apps are displayed correctly on these new devices. You made it to the end, awesome. There are a couple of other neat features that didn't make this list, so in no particular order, here they are. There may be a dark mode and native screen recording when Android Q gets official. There's also a neat way to share Wi-Fi network info using a QR code. Apps are also supposed to load quicker. Are you excited for Android Q? Let us know. Thanks to Jess for her help. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.